For generations, mothers have feared the dispatch of sons to war. It's been no different for the families of those serving in Afghanistan and Iraq. Well, that one is an image of James with a gun. Artist Annabelle Elford says she used her craft to conquer her own sense of foreboding. I was petrified with the idea of having to cope like I had for six months, trying to keep busy, trying to keep sane. Again, when he went back into battle, which he was going to do. So I thought, as I'd always painted myself out of trouble, always, that's what I do. Much of what we see from the theater of war is dictated by what appears on the news. The artist has a chance to focus on the ordinariness of life away from the battlefront. It's not always the uh, little bits of life when there isn't a great amount going on that people get to see. Um, this is just a sort of a taster, really, um, because it's, it's not always all guns blazing and everything out there. There is a lot of, you know, hanging about and not so much waiting for things to happen, just being prepared for when they do happen. Annabelle Elford couldn't go to the front. Instead, she used her son's own photographic record to paint a portrayal of the life that men like her son James have chosen. I've understood it is about the job, doing it well, their friends, their comrades, their commanders, and about their duty. And I've come to understand that through painting, and I'm hoping that maybe more people, and maybe some mums, may be able to get a little bit of help from something I've done. A brush with the guns opens on Sunday and runs.